Hey, this is Matt from BMP Performance, and this is our next episode of Shop Talk Saturday. Today, we're going to be using our quick fuel tester to test the ethanol content of your E85, something everyone should know how to do. And so we're gonna show you how to do it. So our E85 tester, you can pretty much pick these up anywhere, Summit Racing, Jags, Amazon, wherever. Uh, there's a couple different companies that make them, but they're all pretty much the same thing. So the way this works is you're basically adding a predetermined amount of water and then also adding a predetermined amount of, of E85. And the water is separating the alcohol out of the mixture. So basically the more gasoline content you have, the lower the line is going to be. So we're gonna show you how it works. So your first step is there's a line here that says add water to this line. So that's what we're gonna do. So set this on a level surface and we're gonna take our water and fill this up to the first line. Now a little trick, what I like to do is I have this filled up with water ahead of time and I toss it in the car if I know I'm gonna go get a 85. That way you're not sitting at the gas pump trying to pour water in it. So I usually just have this filled up ahead of time. And I got a little much. Okay. Okay, so for our next step, I've got another trick is, is I usually keep an old water bottle because it's gonna be like impossible for you to add E85 right out of the nozzle into this little glass tube. So I keep an empty, dry water bottle. So when I do get it to the pump, I toss a little bit of E85 in it, and that way it makes it easier to pour this in at the pump if you're testing it right there on the spot. So you add this up to the second line, which is also marked. Here we are. And then go ahead and put the lid back on it. And then what the next thing you have to do is you have to mix it all. So you're gonna give this a shake. And then you're gonna to have to set it down and you're gonna let it separate. And it'll start to separate and you'll start to see a line form somewhere on here to, and that will be your ethanol content. So basically you just have to let it sit here and separate and for another minute or so and That'll be that. You can see there's already a line starting to form, but we gotta let all these bubbles in here work out. But you can see, let me rotate this a little bit. You can see where it's already starting to form. This is the gasoline up here. The alcohol is mixing with the water down here. So we'll let this finish up, and that will be our ethanol content. Okay, so we've let this sit a little bit, and you can see there's a very defined line of separation. And it looks like we've got some pretty good E85 here. Well, it looks like it's about E90 or E91, 92, somewhere in that area. So this is some pretty good stuff that we got from the local station down here. So obviously if you got into some winter blends or whatever, your line would be down here. You know, here's your traditional E85 down here. Here's your, your 80 all the way down to E70. Um, if you get down into the bottoms here, this is your 50s and 60s. You probably don't want to use that. That is basically how you do this. It's quick, it's easy, there's no reason not to test it. It helps make sure that you're putting the same quality stuff in your vehicle every time you do it. So, other than that, uh, the other alternative you could use is they do make electronic sensors. Uh, they're gauges that go in your car, they go in line with the fuel rails. This is a much quicker and cheaper option to do it. These are usually around $20 online. Um, order two of them, because you're gonna break one. And <laughs> if you wanna see more content like this on Shop Talk Saturday, make sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe, and tune in next week.